Now we're going to use something called trait bounds. And trait bounds means to uh, uh, use a trait to uh, place a limitation, basically. And uh, we are going to do this by basically rewriting this whole uh, wizard and ranger and fight close thing by using uh, trait bounds uh, instead of uh, just like a big, big trait. And I'll show you how that works. Uh, we're going to delete everything and start again. Actually, maybe take uh, take one more look at this uh, before we delete it. So we have a struct. We have uh, some other ones. We gave them some uh, some traits here. We made uh, a trait called fight close, and it requires this. And uh, gave it two functions. Gave it uh, you know gave this uh, this trait to our wizard and ranger type and then we use those functions so that is what that looks like and this is going to be basically the same except for it's uh it might be you know your preference to use a uh, trait bounds instead and so we have a monster as before and health is an i32 and we only need one bracket there and then we are going to uh, give derive debug to our types again wizard so this time wizard is going to have health as well so this is different and uh, then we are also going to uh, do the same for a ranger and this time the ranger also gets health so we're going to do some things to their health I think and then here come the trait bounds um, now they are no different when you uh, when you declare a trait um, you can use any trait as a trait bound but um, the easiest way to uh, to make one is just to uh, to write a name and we are going to use this to uh, place limitations on our functions so we got fight from distance and that is uh, that is all we need to do for these uh, so we are going to write some functions and we're going to say the user of this function has to use magic, has to have the trait magic, or has to have the trait fight close. So remember these are like, you know, traits are like powers. And this is a, this is why it's a good match for a role playing game because you will say, you know, implement magic for wizard and you don't have to do, uh, do anything yet because the functions themselves will describe the magic. And this trait bound is just going to say, you know, effectively only the wizard can use it because they are, they have this trait. So uh, we're going to implement them. So go give the, uh, let's see, fight close. Who gets that? Ranger, they can fight close. Uh, who else can fight close? Wizards can fight close. And uh, let's see, fight from distance. That is uh, only the ranger gets to do that because rangers use bows and we're going to implement magic and who can use that just wizards magic magic there we are so we have uh, implemented this and now we are going to write our functions so we're back to our attack with sword but this time we are making this a generic function we're putting in a t so we're going to say any type can go in here except it must you or it must uh, implement fight closed and it must implement debug and uh, you see they have debug and they have fight close so uh, you know both the ranger and the uh, and the wizard are going to be able to use this function so the character is a t our reference to t and the opponent is a mute monster because we are changing their health and minus equals 10 that's the same and i'm going to copy and paste this in because this is the same you attack with your sword your opponent has something health left you are now at blah 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 and you can see here we can do this because we brought in debug we're guaranteeing that we're going to be uh you know putting in types that use debug, that implement debug. And then here comes another one. We're going to call this fireball. And this is going to also take a T, which will here, here be a wizard, but later on it could be anything that uses uh, magic. So magic plus debug as well. So you can see you start, uh, you know, 
doing this here. And you can also, you know, the, the other format is where T, you know, fight close and you, uh, you do it, uh, after the signature before the before the brackets but here it's uh you know it's not too it's not too long yet so we can just uh, stick it in here inside the uh, the angle brackets so let's see fireball uh, character is a reference to t opponent is a mute monster and uh the uh, distance is u32 and then we're going to use the same logic that we used with the uh with the bow where you can uh, cast a fireball at a certain distance and we it's the same logic so uh, we just copy and paste so if uh, if you were under you know 15 away then uh, your opponent gets hit with the fireball is down by uh, by 20 20 points and then it says uh, you know you raise your hands and cast a fireball blah 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 and then uh, you know prints you out and right now we're using debug just because it's easy. Uh, in real, <clears throat> in a real game, we would want to implement display so we can uh, we can say you know you are at whatever we want to say instead of you are now at wizard health ten or whatever, whatever the debug print is going to give us. And uh, so that is uh, those are our functions. We're not going to worry about the other ones right now. And down in main. We're going to do the same thing as before. We have Radagast, who is a wizard, and uh, this time he needs health, so we will give him 60, and let Aragorn equals Ranger, and uh, what's his health? What did I give him? 80. And then uh, they're fighting an Urukai again, who's a monster, health 40. And then don't forget the semicolon. And then we're going to do our uh, function. So attack with sword. And we put in a reference to Radagast so we can uh, print out his information and mutable reference to Urukai so we can uh, we can reduce his health. And then attack with, uh, wait, did I have attack with bow? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I forgot about uh, attack with bow, so let's uh, put it in there. Exactly the same as fireball as before, except uh, you have to implement uh, fight from distance and debug. So this uh, this will make sure that only the ranger can use it. And uh, you recognize all of this from before. It's uh, exactly the same, except for we're printing, so we require debug. And then uh, let's see. And then finally, fireball. And uh, so that is a reference to Radagast, and then a mutable reference to the Urukai, and I think, uh, oh, that's right, the distance. Uh, attack with bow. Let's see. This should be Aragorn, because only he has the bow. And uh, they are, we'll say they are eight spaces away, so we give them eight distance and I think that's enough let's hope it works attack with attach with sword that's not right attack with sword and there we go so you attack with your bow your opponent has blah 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 let's uh, let's move that to the left so we don't get all that empty space I mentioned this back in the uh, in the video on printing where the uh, the first line, uh, when you start uh, the, the double quotes here, it uh, puts you all the way on the left. But if you go to a, to a second line, you have to uh, move it over here. Otherwise, it'll be empty space. So uh, let's see. You attack with bow. 30 health left. Uh, you are now at ranger. And see here, this is the, uh, the debug uh, printing I told you about that we would want to make nicer with uh, display. But uh, we won't do that now. And then we uh, attack with a sword. You are now a wizard with health 60, and then you do this. And now your opponent has uh, zero health left, and we have uh, successfully defeated the Urukai.